remember? Molly said Crawford is the only place what left the? in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? Hello, chat. Previously on The Walking Dead. I've heard enough out of you, okay, Doug? Now, what the fuck's the problem? <laughs> no! You're not coming with us. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. Y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do we do? You're his dad. You gotta do this. Just put him into it. I think we should look for your parents. Really? Yeah, you need to know if they're okay and, well, if they're not, what happened to them? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all Emmett my ben. fault. We gotta jump! What? No way! Ah! Shit! Can't I saw your aura. I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me, whether Lee wants you to or not. Now. The fuck? I don't know, but I doubt we're gonna be happy when we find out. All right, chat. Episode four. Episode four. Thank y'all for watching the series. I hope y'all are enjoying it. No intros. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Remember to like. Comment and subscribe if you're new. Hit the notification bell to be notified whenever these videos get posted. Each video, each series, each episode, each season, whatever. Blah, yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna try not to die too much in this in this episode. <laughs> If you had jumped when I told you to jump, you would have been fine. Can't I just hold it? Just for a little while? We're getting real close to where my mom and dad are. Maybe I can... Not now, Clementine. Maybe later, okay? Okay. How's Omid? His leg's pretty bad. Does she know I'm that fine. Know? You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. Why are you looking at me so angrily? Kenny, how much farther to the riverfront? There should be just a few more blocks up ahead. And there'll be boats there? There sure as hell better be. There'll be boats. Have to be. Have to be. It's going to be okay. Kenny knows what he's doing. What the hell? Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? True. What the hell? Someone's up there! Are you sure? I don't see anything. I know what I saw. I'm telling you there's someone up in that bell tower. Someone alive. If I were you, I'd get out of the street now. I thought you said that thing didn't work. Who is this? Is that you up in the bell tower? I mean, 
and shit. That? I would imagine the bell would be Someone bringing a horror, huh? Us? Sounded more like a warning. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you Shakespeare? yammering on about? It tolls for thee. Good little thumb there right there. <laughs> yeah, you got strong neck. Oh. Everybody, run! Oh, he running good now, huh? Too close, don't you think? Dad! Why are you saying that like I didn't just shoot? Ben, help her! Come on, Ben. Come on, Ben. Ben, what the fuck? God damn it! Oh my god, no red. I can't move forward, so. No! I clicked! Oh my god, please. Oh, I clicked right as that goddamn cutscene happened, bro. Come on now. Move your asses! River Street's right up ahead! That's not I'm scared, man. Oh, give me a fucking break! Wait, where the hell's Chuck? Oh shit. Chuck! Norris! He's in trouble. We gotta help him. Better shoot. Shoot. There's no time. We gotta go. Now. Just go. Alright, they didn't give me an option, so I guess it will be fine. I'm open. I'll get the door. Damn, bro. Perfect. You okay? Ah, uh, yeah. You've opened up your wound. You're bleeding. Shit, it's gonna get infected. We've gotta get him inside. Clean him up. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We'll work faster, would you? Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Lady, I ain't the one who's bleeding. Let me see if I can find us a way in. <laughs> Damn. Kenny basically just said, I'll leave you if I have to. Uh. Shit. Looks like something was buried here. Just a doghouse. I remember back in the day where zombies used to be like, uh, you know, dead people, you know, rising from the grave, and not just a uh, fucking, not just a virus, you know. Mad cow disease or some shit. What I dig here? Oh, it's telling me to go over there. <laughs> I was looking at them. I'm not trying to dig up a dog. Looking at this. Still got the The way I'm gonna be able to bust through that. What's this? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I'm gonna have to dig up the dog. I tried it already. That's locked too. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I have. My neighbor had one just like that. It's it's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Well, shit. Every day's a school day. All right. So, where's the dog? Is this the only way? Hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? You're right. Yeah, I hear you. Clem, don't watch. What's buried down there? A 
Whatever it is, it's been here a while. You, I can smell it from here. Gross! Clementine, honey, come sit with me in Omid. Let Lee work. Oh, God, the smell. I feel like you'd be nose blind by the smell, my dog. Considering we literally are surrounded by dead. I can't get it off. I mean, the buckle, man. All right. Okay, that is not cool. Jesus. Are you okay? I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Are you sure you're... I said I'm fine, okay? I won't act weird about it. Can we rebury? Here goes nothing. Yes! God damn! Surprised the batteries in the collar still work, huh? You see anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. I'm curious though, because they boarded what it up on the inside and the outside. Okay, let me see if I can reach up. So be careful, man. It's no good. I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can. We're not gonna talk to Ben about. Clem, what do you see in there? She just went for it. Ta -da! <laughs> good job, Clem. Yeah, way to go. I did good, right? Yes, you did. You did good. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? I don't think, I don't think I scolding her like at hell. that moment would have been a good idea. Looks okay from here. Everybody in. I probably should have said you should have asked first, though. Hopefully she doesn't do that again in the wrong time. Uh, sorry, sorry. No, it's okay. I'm good. I feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. So, when were you going to tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? I was going to tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. You chill Wait. out, bitch. You just got here. Why, do, why should I trust shit you about the damn with radio? information? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that and then try to warn us about it? How much sense does anything make anymore? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. At least the dead don't play games with you. Whoever that was on the radio, I think they were trying to help us. They did warn us, didn't they? Maybe you're right. But whoever it was, they're watching us. Following us. And they don't want us to know who they are. I can't think of any explanation for that that would make me feel better. Can you? Can we can we clear the house first before we start having this goddamn conversation? I think we could all use a little time to rest up and gather our thoughts, Kenny. Not then. At least until those walkers outside wander off. And there could be somebody in the attic right now. You best feel better quick. I ain't ready gonna to, wait around here to, too long. Ready to open fire. Place seems secure at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> All right, fine. What the hell you am I not beating up then? Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door. Understand? Make sure you okay. check every door. Don't worry about me. 
Can I help? What if there's another locked door? I think you've been helpful enough for one day, kiddo. Why don't you just see if Krista and Omi need anything, okay? Okay. Do kids think that kind of head pad is disrespectful? It's kind of aggressive. I remember as a kid getting head pads like that and I'm kind of being upset. <laughs> like, bro, why'd you just touch me like that? Ah! Uh, All empty. Get them burners. Nothing. Water's off. Need a bill. I want me to check the way we like the way God damn it, Walter. Go go, Walter. I don't think we should eat dog food. Hope we never get desperate enough for food that this starts looking appetizing. <laughs> Imagine that, right? We feed our dogs that, but we would never want to touch it. Must have stopped working a while ago. That's the whiskey. Probably not the best idea right now. I need to stay frosty. Looks expensive. And National Guard. Doubt any looters would be able to haul that thing too far. I know. CDC. So. Morning for evacuation. <laughs> I like how they're literally chilling in the living room right now. Nothing hiding in here. So if someone was right here. The music kick up. All clear in here. Just one more to check. Really? Those look kind of big. I feel like there would be more. Let's see some food. Did I look in this? All empty. Got a bad memory, y'all. <laughs> I don't know why I forgot. This is a library. 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 Jesus! That's fucked up. Somebody Bruce, set up a prank. What happened? It's nothing. Just uh, nothing. Well, place ain't got much. Set up a prank. We should me. be okay here for a while, at least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? Yeah. For now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? Nah, no, just dog food. And there's some whiskey in the back. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Go ahead, Clem. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? I told him I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He... Lee? Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. Kenny 
said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? I can't get him to come down. Did you go up to check? Stay here. Damn, bro. Can you, uh, Ben, you're pissing me off. What's up with the damn sus suspense? <laughs> You're going up the stairs all, all slow and shit. Kenny? Oh, shit. Kenny, you okay, man? Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? Oh my god. Jesus. I need to fire your barber. My fault. Ugh. Kinda looks like duck, don't he? No, he don't! It's just a kid. What the hell happened to him? Ain't nothing on him. Guess he must have been hiding out up here. Starved to death. Jesus Christ. I don't know if I can do it, Lee. Not, not again. I can't ask you to go through this again. Let me take care of it. Are you sure? Yeah. I guess we'll find out. I'm pretty sure, actually. This must have been where he slept. What a way to live. What a way to die. Poor kid. Must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. Oh, this could have been Clementine if I hadn't found her when I did. Man. Uh, I don't want to waste a bullet, but I kind of feel like this is the most. I feel like this is the most humane way to do it. Can you not look, Kenny? I'm sorry. We should bury him. I'll take care of it. Next to water. Lee sounding like that dude from Holes. The I can fix that guy. Forgot his name. I can fix that. Next to what? What happened to your parents? Wait a minute. I'm assuming Kenny cleared all the rooms upstairs, but what if the parents are still upstairs? What if the parents are still in the house? I guess the question is, so if he was in the attic, 
who boarded up the outside? Take it too damn long. Oh my God, bro. Creepy ass dude. Hey, hey! Was that your son? Wait. Who are you? What the hell do you want from us? Lee, what's going on? I saw someone standing there by the fence, watching us. A walker? No. They be fast. giving me that that damn Felt quick like ass. Out of the hell when I spotted them. That quick ass what timer, man. I be trying room? to read shit. Didn't get a good enough look. What does it matter? I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. He kind of looked like the, the dude in the in the portrait, though. Kenny, I'm fine. I just, I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing, but the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. All right, that's it. We've stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. I don't know if it's safe to leave just yet. Why the hell not? Walkers look to have cleared out. That's not all I'm worried about. So you'd rather just hunker down here and just let whoever's out there keep us boxed in? Wait for them to starve us out? No thanks. I hate to say it, but Kenny's right. Omid's not in great shape to move, but we can't do anything for him here. Without meds or a doctor, he's only going to get worse. All right, all right. I'll head to the river with Kenny to scope out a boat, while you get Omid ready to move. What about me? You'll stay here with the group. You'll only slow us down. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. Clem, honey, I, I think it'd be best if you stayed here with Ben. I need you to watch out for Omid and Krista. Help them get ready to move out. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. I know it. It's just this once. Sometimes we all have to put aside what we want for the good of the group. Hey, don't worry. I'll be back before you know it, okay? Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. So, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? Yeah. I'm worried about Omid. He's in bad shape. I need you to stay here. Keep an eye on him. He's got Krista for that. If it comes down to it, I can't rely on Krista to do what has to be done. I also can't rely on Ben. In the same house. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You can count on me. I, I can't. I'll be honest. I just seen you run your ass away, bro. And you done already said if you get surrounded, you're going to, you know what I'm saying? I don't need that shit either, bro. You also couldn't go into the attic and help Kenny out. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, what are you, what are you good for, Ben? Damn, bro. Hey, uh, so you want to talk about it? About what? About what happened back there. 
in the attic. No. You sure, man? I mean, river's we... right up ahead. Son of a bitch. That bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. I thought that was a dog. What the hell are you on all fours? What in the hell is going on? I don't know, but the person ringing that bell might be doing us a favor. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. Good one. <laughs> you ain't getting nowhere on, on the ground. Let's keep moving. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're... Oh, my God. Figured as much. There's got to be a boat. There's got to be. I mean, wasn't everybody? A... Are you sure about that? Doesn't look like it to me. Maybe we need to start thinking about a plan B. You know, generally... this is the plan. It's the only one we've got, and you pissing on it in front of everyone like you did back at the house ain't exactly helping. Well, screw you. I ain't giving up that easy. I just feel like if you're a boat owner, that's going to be your first thought is get to our boat, you know? And then you do some dumb shit like this trying to sh trying to get to the fucking pier. This one might still be salvageable. You better be right about this. I said it might be. Give me a fucking break. I'm a fishing captain, not a miracle worker. I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. I bet you it needs a quarter. You got a quarter? Come on, man. What look like? Uh. <laughs> uh. We're gonna talk about. We're gonna talk. Did we not see this? What the fuck? Not exactly a welcome banner. Keep out. Keep out of what? I need that for my thumbnail. Can we? Bruh! Goddamn effigy. I think that's how you say that. Eff effigy? Effigy? Fuck. What is this meant to be? Some kind of warning? Do something like this. I'm curious how they like. They had to have killed real people, bro. I'm not about to waste a bullet on this. But like. How'd y'all get them on the spike? Especially the one upside down. Hey, that's some big ass spikes too. It's like. Great. Needed it's to be a spike to bender or some shit. What'd he say? <laughs> Damn. Built solid. Don't think I'm gonna see anything until I find a quarter. Fuck my I'm not gonna have to run these niggas' pockets, bruh. The last time we had a quarter, we had to bash somebody's head in for it. In a freezer. Run them pockets. Hello, beautiful. I swear if there's no quarter in this damn empty. Why? Who the hell ransacked the goddamn cash register the last minute? And, and no quarters, bro? Maybe 
They missed one. Must have taken weeks to board up all these windows. I hear I hear something in my right ear, man. I like that. Jump scare. Can't be going down alleyways and leaving my point of view all the way over here. Don't make me run these pockets, huh? There's no way. <laughs> what if I hit them hard enough and coins pop out like Sonic? been trying to back their boat into the water. You missed. Hopefully things didn't go as planned. It is a quarter inside. Use your machine. Gotta bash it. Locked. Use your wrench. There you go. One quarter. Man on a mission. Fuck! If I lose What's my up quarter. With the boat? It ain't gonna work. Oh! The hulls crack beneath the water line, plus someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? Yeah, that shit. What the? What the hell is that? A fate worse than death. Abandoned, like every other place in this city. No way that one's salvageable. <laughs> Nothing but water, not a boat to be seen. Bridges. What? 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 Oh the hell! <laughs> I was like, why am I going this way? What the hell? Got them Assassin's Creed. Get down. Get down. I don't think that's how that works. You can't just scale a building like that, I'm sure. Already checked that is empty. Why the hell are we hiding? Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? Sounds like a plan. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. Okay. We just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. What are you thinking, a Navy SEAL? Wait, how the hell did you get over there? Now I gotta do the damn slow shit. It's a, it's a chick. That damn ninja. Lee. What the hell? Clem. You're not from Crawford. Crawford, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> what? Mind if I get up? Slowly. Just don't try and hit me with whatever that axe thing is on your back. Uh. K. 
Kenny, no, it's not our guy! No, he's with us! Kenny was about to shoot? What? What? Who the hell are you people? What do you mean, you people? Everyone just calm down. I'll calm down once she tells me who the fuck she is. Back off, asshole. The name's Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. I'm not looking for any trouble. Hi. You guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? What do you mean? I don't even know what that is. Everything beyond that barricade. What the hell happened here? You sure you want to know? <laughs> when everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive, stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. So Why? they sealed it off with dead? Let's just say they have a zero tolerance policy for anyone who won't or can't live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Would it kills you first? Because there are no children in Crawford. Oh, not that's no more. Well, not no more. What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. Fucking Darwin or some shit? All the rest of the world went to shit around. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. What exactly did Crawford do with all these burdens? What happened to them? Well, you met some of them already. Fuck me. Yeah, anyone who got sick, anyone too old, anyone they figured wasn't strong enough to survive. To them, those people were just mouths to feed. A drain on their precious resources. How do you know all this? Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. It's not something I would want Clementine to see, man. been ringing those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who'd been following us! Fucking with us! <sighs> Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight <laughs> up your ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raised the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the areas they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. That's pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast. Get in and out before they start to wander back. I used back. to be somebody who was smart. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? People, man. Trying to survive. Well, just there trying we go. to survive, same as you. And the only way we're gonna survive is by getting on a boat and getting the hell out of here. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron! You wanna keep your voice down? Shit. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before. Great. Just great. I did his draw line? What the hell's over that jaw? Look at that. Isn't that the way we came? Fuck. Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? That's Kenny's fault. Damn. 
Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't go. have time. I hey, didn't have time. You can't just leave us here. Really? <laughs> I didn't have time to read it. No, There's too many letters. Please don't leave us. Yeah, kick that ladder down. Come on, make it fast. Okay, I guess there's a ladder. Why am I boosting you up? Come on! You better pull me. Oh my god, get it! It's the second time you done dropped me, man. What's my goal here? Uh, my shoulder's itching. Come on, Lee! Get your ass out of there! Alright. This shit will not be... Can't get it open! Can't. Here, use that to pry it open. Thanks. I was ready for the QQQs. Ah! That bitch gonna follow me! That bitch gonna follow me! Living like Mario now. Clementine, can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. And now I'm alone in the sewers. Damn, I traded. Okay, I guess the axe is cool. I don't have a gun though. What happened to my gun? Oh, it's in my back pocket. Hopefully somebody left me a map. Please don't slip. Please don't slip. Oh my god, you were right there. You want me to pick up a dead rat? I ain't picking up a dead rat. It's a drainage pipe. You know what though? Damn, if I had my wrench. Hey, as creepy as the sewage it. Could be the way out. There's no way I could take on all of those things by myself. I retract my statement that I was about to say. I retract my statement, bro. What is this? Won't turn anymore in that direction. Did you give me both? What does he even do? Good thing I'm out here and not in there. Hmm, seems loose. Thank <laughs> you. 
little speechless right now. I'm really just nervous, bro. Oh, <laughs> I was trying to hit control. <laughs> uh, why is it? He's something that was over. Chuck! Oh my god. Oh. Chuck, you must have tried to hide out down here. Poor bastard. No bullets. He must have saved the last one for himself. You deserve better, old man. Hey, it, man. Serious, bro. You serious, bro? Like you were just waiting for this moment, bro? You just waiting for this moment? I'm so glad it was on the axe. I didn't realize that there was a gun icon there too, but I'm so glad it was on the axe already. Oh, that would have been shitty. No way I could pick that up on my own. Doesn't look that heavy. Why do I need to do it? The man was just waiting, bro. He spent his whole life thinking of that moment. It's like, yep, I'm gonna. <laughs> Can I be like her? I ain't even check this door. Probably should have checked that door first, but I'm assuming that this is the way to go. Oh. Oh. What the hell? Why is there a hole in it? Must have been one of those old nuclear fallout shelters. Somebody put a grenade to it? Wonder if someone's living down here. Hopefully they're living and not dead living. Look at all this. It's enough to keep people alive for months. Damn, and Chuck was right here. Is that a false floor? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Was this Half Life? Who are you? I could ask you the same question. You barged in on us, and and I'm the one holding the gun. So I'll ask you again. Who are you? A little, Look, little shaky. I'm sorry, I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here, are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I'll know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I'm not from around here. I'm from Athens. Grew up in Macon. I have a brother in Macon. You were there? How was it? As bad as here? I'm sorry. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. 
think, Vernon? What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn How you talk with your teeth? Right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. I'm not from Crawford, but I saw what they did up there. It made me sick. I'm not like them, and I don't think you are either. I think you're a good man. Keep back, or I swear I'll shoot. It's all right. It's okay. Vernon, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Shit! Vernon! He got me! <laughs> Relax. I'm not here to hurt you. <laughs> You're really not from Crawford? No. I'm really not. Well, uh, we are. Or were. We got out oh, of there man. when they started sealing up the place, you know, started weeding out the sick and the old. God damn it, Vernon! The survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or ability in their little master race. <laughs> you don't look that old, so you're sick? Uh. We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. We're in remission. But Does that wasn't good enough for Crawford. It already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to Look hold pretty old to me. I'm sorry. From them down here. Now, if you this 45. This has been abandoned for years. What is this? A morgue? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. How'd you get those How did beds? you find your way down here? My group and I were up by the river looking for a boat. Now I just want to get out of here and find them again. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Should I tell him I exposed the hole? Those sewers are like a damn maze. Any chance you could help me find my way back? Look, I'd like to help you, but we've all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? Look. Sorry if I scared you. I just want to get back to my people. Back to Clementine. She's your daughter? No. She lost her real parents. I'm doing what I can. You're not seriously considering going with him. Is she go talking with her teeth again? It's all right, Bree. I had a daughter, too. Lost her in the first days. I'll be damned if I'll just sit back and let that happen to someone else. We need you here. And then Bruce Don't Wayne. Worry. I'll be back before you know it. Let's go. If Batman was in the apocalypse, right? The zombie apocalypse? Would he still keep the no killing rule? It's a question for y'all in the comments. Oh, that was Clementine? easy. Clementine? Clem? Molly? Oh, hey, you made it back. Who's mm -hmm. this? He didn't tell you about me? I'm the one who saved his ass back at the river. Who's the fossil? Damn. This is Vernon. He's a doctor. He helped me get back here after we got separated. I think you have something that belongs to me. <laughs> no. Imagine if I lost it. Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. We have a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. He's also a zombie. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? You have to help us. <laughs> Please. I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. <laughs> Omid, honey, you're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. 
I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. Clementine. Clementine? Hey, Chris, are you not gonna tell me where Clement? Study. I would have just been able to look. Clementine, at you in here? Where is she? Hiding. Clementine? Clem's drawings. But where is she? Clem, you in here? Um. Don't see her anywhere out there. Uh, no walkers either, though. Let's go to this bedroom first. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Everything okay in there? We're fine. Just. Leave us alone, and let the doctor work. Can you tell me where Clem at? I'm freaking out, man. Clem. Clementine, you here? Clem? Can I close it? Hello? What the hell what are, you are you doing? doing? Oh, you know, just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Where's Clementine? Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? There's definitely a lot of rooms. So what happened to the parents? I don't like the way this layout is. You gotta go through the bathroom to get to the bedroom. You gotta go through the bathroom to get to the hallway. She wouldn't be upstairs, would she? In the attic. What kind of layout is this? <laughs> Clementine, you up there? Shit, where could she be? Why is nobody else? Clem? Clementine? <laughs> Clementine, come out, please! Kenny? Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Good job. What the hell do you think you're doing? Y'all are pissing me off. What does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? Found it. You wanna throw down again like back on the train? Cause I fight better when I'm shit-faced. What the fuck were you thinking letting Kenny get like this? Hey man, I tried, but he gave me a look like he was gonna rip my face off. He won't listen to you. You think he was gonna listen to me? To hell with you! Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked! Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us, that crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for- I don't for care, where's Clementine? Oh my god. <laughs> I don't care. Oh. Have either of you seen Clementine? Damned if I know. Gotta be around here somewhere. Ben, how did Clementine sneak out of the house? 
Hey, don't put all that on me. Omid took a turn for the worse, and Krista asked me to help. I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can here. She was frantic, and things got kind of crazy. I told Clementine to stay put. What else could I do? Don't be sorry. Just tell me where the hell she is now. I think she went out to play in the backyard. On her own? With no one watching her? Man, will you get off my back? She's fine out there. She better be or it's your ass. Ooh, I'm about to start voting people off the island again, bro. Clementine? Clementine! Fuck! <laughs> Need to look at the shrub. Oh, look, there's a side door. Is that a side door? What the hell happened back here? Lip! Uh, can you like look and see? Because maybe she crawled in there. Look! Doors covered in mud. Don't think anyone came in through there. Wee! Jesus Christ, Clint. What were you doing in there? Exploring? And look! Look what I found! You ain't drunk enough to see this, huh? You're hallucinating. It's not real. It's, you're drunk as fuck. Oh shit! I dozed off. doing okay? <laughs> as well as could be expected I was... under the circumstances. <laughs> I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound. And you know what's funny? I was staring at the words on the screen. I was waiting for somebody Without to start talking. I... And I realized I'm gonna goddamn choose your own adventure. Why are you even still here? Game. Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Sure. Well, you want the good news or the bad news? Yes, you need gas. Let's get the bad news out of the way first. Bad news is she's not taking us anywhere the shape she's in right now. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. So what's the good news? That's it. That's all she needs. Some gas and a battery. Other than that, she's good to go. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Uh. We should go back out on the street, see what we can find. That's not gonna work. Crawford took everything and brought it inside their walls. 
They siphoned every gas tank, stripped every battery. There's nothing left out there. You saw that for yourselves. She's right. Well, what about this Crawford place? Sounds like they'd have everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Sounds like a shitty idea. Now, hold on a minute. Surely we have to try? No! If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Uh, Trust me, they're you cannibals, don't know probably. I do. Don't with you those showing people. up with a wounded man? Might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms, either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because, from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. That's putting it mildly. So what? No one has any ideas? <sighs> there might actually be a way. I, was, I know the sewer system thinking, that runs I was thinking. Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. Okay, that's not bad. That's better. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? How do we even know where they store their supplies? I used to watch them from one of the bell towers just outside the perimeter. I've seen them carrying all kinds of stuff into that old Catholic school off the town square. I think they're using it as some kind of supply depot. There's a good chance we'll find what we need in there. I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? The hell else you gonna do, we Ben? go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? It's what going to be yeah. dangerous. Crawford. I can't lie to you, Clem. Yeah, it's going to be dangerous. But it's the only way to get the things we need to make Omi better and get the boat working. That's why we have to do this. Do you understand? I don't want anyone else to die. That could happen. But we have to take that risk because it's just as dangerous not to. I'm trying to be honest every time, I guess but... I should go get ready. Uh, say what now? You said you'd need all of us to do this. And you said I'm a big help, remember? Molly said Crawford is the only place what left the in Savannah fuck? that's... Moments later. Yeah, you got a little overspray on, on, on the lens. Bro, I fucking hate walks. Fucking hate walks. Apologize. Now I gotta do a goddamn edit. I don't think I'll find them in Crawford, Sweet Pea. Why not? Because they're good people. And Crawford is a bad place run by bad people. I don't even remember what we were talking I don't about. I think they would have stayed in a place like that. How do you know they're good if you've never met them? Well, they raised you, didn't they? Do you think they're bad, Clem? <laughs> Hold on. Can't I come with you? Don't give me a choice. Oh, it's giving me so much time too. I feel like I have okay. to trust her. You can come. I feel like I have, have to trust her with this. Quiet. One. 
and do exactly what you're told the whole time we're there. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready. I'm curious. I, I'd rather her not, like, you know, feel like I don't trust her, you know? Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? What's you sober? Up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? So we're gonna have a capacity problem. Boat that size ain't gonna hold more than five people. Even with one of them a kid. Me, you, Clem, Krista, Omi, Ben, Molly. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, that's still one too many. Even if we cut Molly loose. Before this is over, we're gonna have to make a decision. You're not serious. Look, I'm just saying, if we want the best chance of... Who the I hell her. is this? I want her here. This is Bree. She can help us. Help us how? I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. With her help, we're in and out faster. Anyone have a problem with that? I guess not. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. Here. I'm going crazy, chat. What? Hold up just a sec. You ready? Ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? If you take her in there and they find her... This little girl's not just excess baggage. She's gotten us out of a tight spot more than once. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. Ooh, I just wanted to... This should be it. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet, we stay hidden, and we stay together. We find what we need, and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? And that part about staying close, that goes double for you. I gotta stop taking my hands off the goddamn <laughs> mouse, bro. I'm never prepared. Let's go. Where is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. What? Are you disappointed? It's just strange, is all. I think I see one over there by the door. Okay. Me and Kenny will sneak up, try to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. And yet you bring a rifle. Fuck! Why the hell were you? Why the hell were you walking like a goddamn real man? Oh, y'all, y'all worse than y'all. What the fuck is a walker doing inside here? Get inside, fast! Well, there goes sneaking. <sighs> If it gives me the opportunity to sacrifice Ben, y'all better not judge me for what I do after. Fuck! Fuck! Do you think they saw us? Who's they? The, the walkers? 
Definitely. What the hell happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. No, this is good. Vernon's right. We can deal with walkers easier than armed guards. I agree. So long as we don't let them box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? Come on. I think I know which way to head. Come on, I got ben. a bad feeling about this. Shut up! I'm sorry. <laughs> I yelled. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I just don't need any fucking quips right now, bro. Interesting. Just keep moving. Here. Looks okay. Everybody in. Like the way she looked, bruh. <laughs> Armory. Figures. Looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Here. Just give me a sec. Where can we find some fuel for the boat? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. Where would be the best place to look for medicine? Am I asking one by right one? Right here, it's nice little... nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? Damn, judgmental Just ass. Makes sense, doesn't it? So then we just need a battery. This auto shop, it's right next door. Yep, it's called Herman's, you can't miss it. Okay, I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. And I'll go with you. Okay. Watch your back. Thank you. Ben? Okay, we've got <laughs> Stay over there. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. What about me? What can I do? I need you to stay here with Ben and watch oh. over our command center. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? You're leaving me with Ben? <laughs> I'm not leaving you with Ben. I'm leaving him with you. Understand? Valid. Oh, okay. <laughs> Back before you know it. She understood the assignment. Hmm. 
must be the guy who ran this place. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. Is that the guy that was watching us? The alleyway to the auto shop's down here. You coming or not? I've already been fired. They're worthless. Motherfuckers keep leaving me alone. This must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. But where the hell is Molly? It's like, why are you analyzing everything, man? Molly, you out here? Guess I'm not going that way. Shot must be down this way. Paranoid chat. What the hell was that? Why the hell is she creeping like that? I mean... This is the place I'm looking for. Why is she creeping, bro? Shooters will be shot on sight. Damn. Well, it's not like they're there any anymore. Did she scale the fence or some shit? Where the fuck did she go? Fence isn't an option. Is something in here I miss or something? Oh, oh. And oh, good knees. Too close. That man got extra close to the microphone for that one. Jesus. <laughs> what the fuck? Why? What why are you doing this? Leave him! He's mine. He's dead. What were you doing up there? What's wrong with you? What's the matter? Never seen someone kill a geek before? It's already Not dead. Like that. He's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Not a problem. Look what I found. Huh? Oh yeah, that'll work. <laughs> Why'd you bring it with you? Yeah, yeah, that's your fault. Don't be goddamn Assassin's Creed. Oh, 
here. Come Ready on. for QQQs. Oh my god, why is it taking this so long? I will see. You didn't kill him! What the fuck? How'd you not- Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. How is he not dead? There's a car along. That blinking must be an anti-theft system. Good chance of a working battery being in that car. If I can find a way to get up there. You know what? I don't even need to look at anything else, man. It's the hose for the lift hydraulics. See, I could just take the hose. Don't think I can pry that hose apart with just my hands. Maybe if I had something to cut it. Can with. I'll be honest. You could do it. It's it's wrench. No way in. Oh, let me get your fucking tool. Something you need? Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. Mm. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. I break it in half. Shit! I did it. Whoa, whoa. That's probably not good. No shit. Get the battery. I'll try to hold him off. Hurry. There's the battery. Finally, something goes right. There's no way you're doing that with your bare hands. To the terminals. Yeah. Oh my god, take to take the damn turn. It's off. Got that one off. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here, I'll carry it. You don't carry a battery in your bag? Okay, follow me. That is not logical. Move your ass! Yeah, Lee. Shoot it out. All right. Please don't drive me like Kenny. Ain't no way she carrying that battery in her bag. So now we're on the roof. Do you ever stop complaining? Come on. I'm not complaining. I'm just stating the obvious. Apparently. What do you think I am? Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump! I'm just not athletic. <laughs> what did you call me? Well, now that you mention it. I'm glad it was just that. That was almost bad. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Sleep. You got spiders on me? later. Wait, you've still got the battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! God damn it, what the hell is she doing? How the hell are you. Uh, I guess 
I guess Lee did carry a propane tank in his fucking back pocket. Where am I going? This way? The fuck? Little help here! No. Oh my god, another Now how will we be able to get back here without any zombies? Well There's so many of them. Yeah, no shit. You got the fuel. Let's not start high-fiving each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Give us a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. Uh, Molly's carrying one in her a bag, a battery in her bag, man. I think we can carry this. You're back. Yeah, and we made out pretty good too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Excuse me. You okay, Clem? <laughs> yeah. This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. Me too. I used to be a teacher, remember? Tell you what, when we find ourselves a safe place, set up a little classroom. Just you and me. Will there be homework? I'll teach you the one subject I know. No homework. <laughs> Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. I hope she's okay. She'll be fine. She's pretty tough. Do you think things will ever be normal again? Just like the way they were before? I don't think so, Clem. I think the best we can hope for is that we'll find a way to survive, to stay together, and to not let this change us. That's what's important. I guess you're right. What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? No, wait. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? It's my fault Duck and Katja got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. Yeah, actually, yeah. Tell I agree. Him. I think you should tell him. Just not now. You don't get it, Lee. What am I supposed to do whenever he talks about Katja and Duck? Just nod and pretend like it wasn't my fault. I can't do it anymore. Ben, listen. Kenny seems like he's got his shit back together. Bro, why does she right look now, like a goddamn purpose. jump scare back he's there? He's still in a real bad place. <laughs> you tell him now, he's gonna lose it. And then we're all screwed. Every time come she looked like a ghost, hear it, but it's not now, not yet. I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. So, wait, wasn't, wasn't she going with Vernon? 
Bree? Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No Wait, problem. who went with Vernon? We're all on the same team. We're mates. How long have you known Vernon? Couple of years. He ran our support group. We he missed. was really oh, great helping Crystal. me come to terms with right? my disease. Crystal? But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Can't be Vernon. Crystal, because Omid wouldn't just be by together, himself, huh? Kept us alive. I'll be back. Got some things to do. Good luck. What are we waiting on? So according to Bree, fuel is at the maintenance shed. Medicine might be at the nurse's office. Oh. And a battery would probably be at the auto shop out through here. So I guess I gotta go get medicine? Where the hell is Vernon? What if that was the nurse's office? Shoot? How many bullets I got? Okay. I was about to say, are y'all just... I'm glad I had enough bullets. <laughs> My fucking mouse went off the screen at that last moment, too. Add... Bruh, who you think it would be? What the hell happened? They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. <laughs> I took care of them. What about the meds? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Oh, nice. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. There's no way we can bust it open? Maybe with enough time, but I don't know how much of that we have. Be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. Great Scott. No! Oh. What is this? A copy machine. <laughs> Not that it matters with no power around here. I'll have to take time to rest later, I think. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. Looks like some kind of medical file. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? Phones probably haven't worked in months. How's it coming? Slow. Too slow. I'm worried that by the time we manage to get this thing open, it may be too late. Hey, Doc, uh, I just wanted to thank you for coming with us and for all your help. I really appreciate it. Don't mention it. It's times like these we've got to help each other the most, right? And we're no better than those Crawford sons of bitches. I heard that. I'll go see if I can find something that'll help us get that safe open. Good idea. 
Not working. Y'all already checked these drawers? Yes, Lee. <laughs> Nothing in there worth taking. Would hope so. <laughs> Just shoot at it. No tape inside. Oh, I wonder if I have a tape. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh God, oh God, oh God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm going to give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this, but I need you to come back no later than tomorrow, or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Damn, that was a hard slam. Do the combination. Combination. Damn it, we almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it, see what he's got on him. Want to help me out? I just gotta do everything on my own, huh? I gotta go out there. Sounds like a bad idea. Great if he had wandered inside here. Have to go through here. Brace yourself. Can't open it without the combination. Forgot. TV. Guess that fell, huh? With all them hits, how did she not kill him, though? Don't look at him. This is definitely the guy. Use his hands. Wow, managed to find him. This might be just what we need. First try, What's huh? This looks like some kind of code, but Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. 
Shit, time to go. Please don't make me do it. All right, good. That combination kind of quick. Safe combination has got to be on one of these. I found two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive, to keep on living, if this is what it takes? If this is what it's turned us into? I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. Damn! No. 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 She just started blasting like that? I think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. It's good. Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. Where the numbers business. I saw, but okay. <laughs> Antibiotics, morphine. We'll take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think I better make some extra pockets and carry all of it. For your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. Everybody gotta leave me alone. Listen, as fun as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Overson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die or she'll start showing symptoms and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? Well, shit. Disgusting. What is this angle? <laughs> Jesus oh Christ. my God! Stop Let's doing that! Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. I'm just kidding. Safe, right? Woo! 
Oof. Here you go. What's that? Nothing. You lied to me. What? You said you'd never been here before, but that wasn't the truth, was it? What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. You were having an affair with that doctor. I didn't lie. I asked you how you knew about Crawford. You said you just heard stories. I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place or in their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret, kept her safe for as long as I could, but in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked, how anything was better than becoming one of them, but I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. This is all I have left of her. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just <laughs> I wanted it, okay? <laughs> it's okay, Molly. You <laughs> <Well>, imagine. <laughs> it's, it's pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. What was that noise? Oh, Jesus! Chip, what the hell is your problem? Sorry, sorry, I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Kenny and I still can't get the door open to the armory. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, oh my ben? fucking god, Ben! Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. You know shit. Oh, no. Shit! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that one still there? <laughs> Got a, a mind zombie there. Lee, shoot this fucker! Thanks. It wasn't me. Good going, kid. Nice. Oh shot. shit! <laughs> I was trying to get an angle and <laughs> I just couldn't get one. But goddamn. What the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh shit. That was a good shot, Clem. Jesus. Sir, but now how do we get out? <laughs> that <was> mean. <laughs> Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Oh Come my on, God, damn man. you! This is my fault, all my fault. What the hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Kenny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. Ben, we don't have time for this now. I'm sorry, we. I can't do this anymore. He's got a right to know. Know what? It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Why are you saying this now? It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... Kenny, man, I agree with you. You should kick his ass. But now's not the time. Gotta focus on getting out of here. You little pissant! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! Pissant. My wife and child? You gotta both fucking kill! Kenny, listen to me. You can whip his skinny little ass later. But right now, we gotta go! Nice group you got here. 
Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! Well, I vote we leave it. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. Why are we doing this now? Do can we back to can we leave, you please? Put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? Great. Can't do this right now. I abstain. We'll figure this out later. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a say? That is some comedic timing right there. Now can we go? That was Damn some right. comedic Burn ass timing. God damn. This <laughs> This game just just <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> what am I doing? So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I could. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's got to be a way out down here. Ah, damn. Oh. Look at that neck. It's not gonna hold. Back upstairs. Lee, look. Thanks. Hope he's got infinite bullets. Like Herschel shot. What the hell? Aim. Okay, I guess he did aim. Oh, shit. God damn it, Lee. Please don't, please don't lose the goddamn weapon. Oh, there was some there. Fuck. Stop eating my dick. <laughs> God damn it. Hearing anything about the wasp, I goddamn thought something was crawling on me. <laughs> Look up. Zombies in between us. Strong. Little Spartan kick there. Okay. Yeah, bitch. Fucking spec ops, man. Any way out of here? This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go, go! There's red on my screen still. Come on, let's go! <laughs> what the fuck? Hold on, Ben! I've got you! I'm a 
saving us. Climb up! Come on, you can do it! There's no time! You have to go! Now! I mean, if you if you move, you could Let's get go, out. Damn it! Get Clem and the others out of here! Lee! That's wild to just you could be helping me. That is wild. <laughs> and he leaves. We both know. Let me go. See if I let you go, that means that Okay, well that Just tell me this! Oh my god, how the fuck did you survive that fall? <laughs> oh, great, now I feel bad. Oh my god, bro. To be fair, he said to do it. Krista? Everything okay? Oh, me! Clem, stay back. Don't get any closer. I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him. Oh my god, bro. Why are you sleeping like hey. that? <laughs> what the fuck? Back already? We got you medicine. Good. I feel like I could use some. Where's Ben? He... Why is he the first it. person you asked? What happened? Dumb son of a bitch nearly got us all killed. Lee stepped up and did what he had to. Why you gotta That's say that bad. I did it on purpose? Oh my god, why? Kenny, you talk too much. Nice going, asshole. What's eating you? Yeah, I did what I had to. But I don't expect Clementine to understand that. How did you? Oh I don't God, want her to bro. understand it. You did the right thing. Trust me. Shut up. She'll understand. Shut I'm up. Gonna go start work on the boat. Okay. With a little luck, you should. It is the fucking ops, man. Soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes. Thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk. In private. About what? I don't want to talk anymore. I'm done talking. Listen, man. About what happened to Bree. Don't beat yourself up over it. There was nothing you could have done. You want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we'd better just get used to it. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, it's not my plan. That's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe, because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me to my people. Hell no. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And Hell now Crawford's no. fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? I'm gonna pretend you didn't say any of this and give you a chance to walk away. Which you ought to do right now. I know you think you're doing what's best for her. And if you were her real father, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But you're not. And staying with you is not what's best for her. If no one else around here will so tell you that, what's the difference that, between her I staying will. with you Who's not her real father? That little girl's in my care. We've been through more together than you can imagine. 
anyone who tries to get between me and her. Anyone! It's gonna wind up dead! You hear me? Take your hands off me. I already know you can't handle a gun, sir. <laughs> El Clementine handled that gun better than you. Burn! God damn it, Kenny. How the hell did you say that shit? Hey, going somewhere? A spot just opened yeah, up on the boat. I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. Sounds like it'd be pretty crowded, and I never did like the water. You sure should have. You should have said that before sure. I let Ben I've go. Always done better on my own, anyhow. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me. Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. And you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. Well, hey, sweet pea. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? I don't know. We'll figure it out. We always do. Clem, honey, what's wrong? What happened to Ben? What did Kenny mean when he said you did what you had to? Clem, you have to believe me. I tried to save him, but Ben didn't want me to. What do you mean? What Ben did was very brave. He knew we were running out of time, and that saving him might put everyone else in danger. Thank so he you. told me to leave him behind so the rest of us could get away. I know that's difficult to understand. I understand. You do? Yeah. He thought about other people before he thought about himself. My mom always told me that's what makes a good person. Well, she was right. Before we leave tomorrow, Will we have time to look for my parents? I'd like to, Clem, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. <laughs> I'm sorry, Clementine. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Still don't know who's on the radio. <sighs> Clementine. I thought it was the radio on my hip now. Clementine? Clementine? Clementine! Oh my god.
Then. What about the radio that's on my hip? Did I just get bit? <sighs> what the f- No. 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 Fuck. Lee? Lee? You out here? Lee! Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee? Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's mine. Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? And who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night, Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? Clint may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What are we waiting for? Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Really. You've always been there for me, Lee. Always had my back when it mattered. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? Bitten or not, I'm with you to the end. You can count on me. Okay, guys, we should go find Vernon, see if he took her. Let's head out. What about the boat? We just gonna leave it unguarded? If someone was gonna take it, they'd have done it already. Besides, what choice do we have? Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon! Get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt! So was Vernon the one with the, the walkie? Uh, the other one? I'm confused, because why would I have a walkie on my hip? But the same walkie was by the church. Bitch! Holy. 
Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Wait, what? Oh, so you could have saved Ben. Who's he? Oh, damn. Could have saved Ben. And it would have been everybody. I mean, I got the most out of what I got. Wait. There's one where Kenny wouldn't be here, but Ben would be here. You probably couldn't see what I was looking at, but oh my god. <laughs> All right, well. Was that like a was was that like a a weird glitch at the end with the walkie-talkie being on my hip and also by the trash can. Uh, cause that kinda, that, that confused me, I'll be honest. Uh, yeah. I don't really have any final thoughts. This one was kinda straightforward. Um, I'll be honest. I, the only reason I let Ben go, even though I said what I said about Ben, the only reason I let Ben go is because in my head I was thinking like it legit was gonna be like either I save Ben and he like one of us gets bit at that point or something like that I don't know I thought it was gonna be game over not little not literally game over but I thought it was gonna be an issue considering he wanted me to let him go anyways um, now I know that's not a good excuse as to why I should have let him go, but you know what 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 happened happened, man. Um, well, well, next episode is the last episode of the season, and I think I know where it's about to go. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode, episode four. Um, if you made it this far. I appreciate you watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the love and support I've been getting, especially on this series. Um, yeah, man, I will be seeing y'all soon for episode five. Uh, assuming it's a season finale for season one. Uh, yeah, man. You new? Subscribe. Hit the notification bell to see when the next episode drops. Uh, and yeah, I think after season one. I think after season one, I'm going to take a break from The Walking Dead to play some other stuff. And we're going to come back to The Walking Dead um, later. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for me. Uh, thank you all. I will see you all again soon.